stop disrespecting virtual world. It's tier point five. Don't be like one of the 37.6% of you that have chosen not to hit that subscribe button. How are we going to get to 100k if you guys can't show some love? Alright, I got a comment recently on a video. Yes, I do read my comment section. I love making videos talking about these things. The comment said, stop disrespecting virtual world. It's tier 0.5. Now, in the small vacuum of my head, right up here, I look at the way that tier lists are created through tier 0, tier 0.5, and tier 1, and then we hit down to 1.5 and tier 2, and a lot of people like have different opinions on the way that tier lists are structured here. Tier 0 is the absolute best deck in the format. It's so cancerous, everything else can't compete. And then you come down here to tier 1. Tier 1 is the best decks in the room, but other decks have a competing chance against them. And then at tier 0.5, it's not quite tier 0, but it's a Ahead of the rest of the tier one decks, and I would definitely have put Tri Brigade heading into like 0.5 last format because you know, even though like the deck loses to the other decks in the room, it is genuinely felt that it was a little bit better than the other tier one. So, when you look at like that, that's my reasoning and construction for this. So, as we head on into October here. I've been talking a lot about what I think is going to structure up for the format here. Well, one person took that as blatant disrespect. Blatant disrespect? Whatever. I, I don't care. All right. And they had the audacity out here to think that Virtual World is all of a sudden the better of the better decks. It is now the so absurdly good. One E-Telly did that much. You know, a deck that loses to itself out here, this deck that has the worst potential draws out here, and those brick hands are the absolute worst, all right? A deck that loses to itself, consistently, I might add you, is now suddenly the best deck in the room. Now, Variance called. Now... Knock, knock. Variants? Ah, how you doing, Variants? I'm glad to see that you decided to step on in here. Why is Virtual World not Tier 0.5, but still actually probably a Tier 1 competitor? Well, this person's going to disagree with me anyway, because they're probably done... 10 test hands on Virtual World on DB. All 10 test hands were the absolute bonkers nuts. And now that they've sat down and they're like, this is the best deck. Some fat fuck on the internet doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> That's how serious some Yu-Gi-Oh players get out here. Okay, so let's let's start. Now, besides the fact that this deck loses to itself. So that's the first argument I got to bring up here. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Senshin is a good card. All right, I'll, I'll start off with the strengths of this. Um, in my, fam my favorite Hanko Chow quote here is, Now Pran Kids just lose to a Senshin pass. Now, Senshin is a very good card, ladies and gentlemen. Let's not discount what it does. But here's the problem with Virtual World in a nutshell. Shirog, you just, you hate getting shirog Oh my god. Watching your specific utility cards get banished out from you, uh, other specific engines, oh yeah, you know what else they hate? They hate the ever-living crap out of an established Zeus. Virtual World's biggest problem is, well, if they get interrupted when they're trying to go off, it is a crapshoot of a time. Obviously, they need to, most Yu-Gi-Oh decks in the modern era do need to establish, but the problem is, when Virtual World like has one card in the field and they reveal another one in hand and you know, the famous Scarlet Conk play comes up and all of a sudden, you know, their target gets disrupted and they're sitting there going Rrr! That's that's the downside of Virtual World. It doesn't really happen all that much. Now if you're looking at Virtual World as like a top tier competitor here, yeah, that's fine. That's why I said like that's why I brought up the Hinkle Chow quote here and we look at Virtual World, yeah. Now the fact that Prank Kids kinda went down a little bit here yeah, that's that's a thing, all right? You did gain some consistency over a little bit of the meta here. You know, if we also want to talk about Sword Soul wandering on into the format here, sure, man, that's another Tier 1 deck you're going to have to compete with, all right? Overall, looking at the structuring of the format, yeah, Virtual World did get a whole lot better. But when you're already sitting at the bottom of Tier 1, it doesn't 
bump you up incredibly high because you still lose to the weirdest rogue decks that you can ever imagine. Virtual World is not beating a Phantom Knight established board. I'm sorry to say that. Unless you have some like super secret, like I'm meaning Dark Rule and no more tech, you're not beating that. All right. I, F, F Zero Shade or uh, Rusty Tin Can, you know, an Appalosa, you're, you're not breaking that board. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. All right. Uh, Virtual World, I've seen you guys try to break through boards, and sometimes you guys can do it. Sometimes there's just enough gas across. I mean, you could say that about anything here, but I specifically want to mention Phantom Knights here because, yes, you can set up Choo Chi for interruptions, but if your opponent's already got enough gas to just negate all of your effects coming through, you're not doing anything. All right. Well, Robbie, what about Kaliga Crystal Wing? All right. Sure, man. Go going first. VW hasn't changed. All right. Um, I mean, Itali did matter, but here's the thing. So, Ch uh, Chuchi, Kaliga, Crystal Wing. All right. That's pretty good. All right. For the most part, that's been the go-to. And then you end on a Lulu in your hand for the next turn. All right. That's, that's the go-to. But that's not unbreakable by any stretch of the imagination, all right? Now you have to kind of look at things and go, is, is Sen Shen really the better pass here? Um, am I gonna get more value out of this? Shen Shen just really got better, all right? Shen Shen's recurrable, you, you know what I mean? So looking at this right now, I think it's dumb to think that at the end of the day here, that Virtual World is now the craziest deck in the room because it's not. Well, Robbie, I got Cross Out Designator. What am I worried about? All right, I can hit the Nibiru's. I don't care. Well, that's technically, I understand the Virtual World will want to play Cross Out Designator, but you have to remember, ah, this is going to sound really bad. This is this is just more variant stuff here. If you open up like multiple Cross Outs, you leave you three cards to combo. All right, you're going to have to have a Desires to get to the fourth option here to kind of do things, all right? While Crossout Designator does help you, you're just adding one more layer into the bricks, in my honest opinion here. All right, trust me when I say, when you look, it, you can't say you're not a real virtual world player if you haven't played the deck and just went, well, this sucks. All right, <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do about this? Virtual world's greatest weakness is 10 round tournaments. All right, only because those brick hands end up being literally garbage at the end of the day. So, can it happen? I don't know. Maybe, maybe this person out here, just, just the best duelist in the world, they have this magical touch with their deck. Magical touch, by the way. Uh, they have the ability just to draw these god hands. Sure. Sure. Whatever. All right. All right. Variance is a very arguable thing, but from where I'm sitting right now, I think for the most part, Senshin was the only real good value they got. The second e telly really helped. And as they knock down the floor of the ceiling here for the format, it generically allowed for better things to kind of come up. But to say that this is now the strongest deck in the format, I don't like that. I still think that, yeah, Tri Brigade is still going to be sitting here at the dinner table going, hi. What's up, guys? How are you? All right, maybe praying kids fell off the face of the map here, but now you have Flunderies that is coming back into the metagame. Don't don't be ignorant here. They're, they're walking in here with Sword Soul. You know, they'll be behind Sword Soul for the meta, even though a lot of people seem to think that, for whatever reason, birds will be better than Sword Soul. That's a, that's a, a take, by the way. But for now, two new decks coming into the meta here. I don't think that things are going to get better for you. You're still the same going first deck that you've been. You got 5% more consistency on your side. Thanks, Itelli. So, guys, do you think that if... Okay, do, do you guys think that Virtual World is like this crazy powerhouse deck right now? Like, oh my god, I'm, I'm stupid for even questioning this comment. You know, thinking, oh my god, Virtual World is the... It, it's the best absolute... <sighs> can't even keep this up anymore like I, i'm so i'm so done like virtual world's tier one yes it's not tier 0.5 stop the stupidity all right stop i don't care how many tests your five six ten test hands that you drew the absolute gas on is not any sort of indicator versus like actual theory and application you can open up the nuts and your opponent can blow you the hell out that is literally just how Yu-Gi-Oh works as a whole so 
It's my two cents. Guys, what do you think? Please comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. I look forward to reading the comment section later. I'll see your beautiful faces back here later on in the day. Peace out, guys. Have a good one. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Drupal Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanquil 40 for all of your Cartway Vanguard content brought to you by Mcol 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.